Okay, here we have question number 11 from um, October, November 2018, paper 4, variant 2. It's a question about vectors. Um, 11a part 1, find 3a minus 2b. So you've got these three, two, three vectors I gave you in um, like column form, and you're going to have to find 3a minus 2b. So you basically just take the vector a and you multiply it by 3 and you take away from that 2 times vector b ok so you're going to have minus 9 and 6 ok I'll leave the minus here and just multiply by 2 first to save confusion so 2 times 5 is 10 2 times 4 is 8 so you have minus 9 minus 10 which is minus 19 and you have 6 minus 8, which is negative 2. So negative 19, negative 2 is the answer. Then it says find, and it's got this symbol here. Um, you have these two lines. It means find the magnitude of A. Okay, the length of the vector, the line for vector A. Now, if you think about it, let's say A starts over here. Okay, you've got to go, let's say, actually, let's say it starts down here. You've got to go three spaces to the left and two spaces up. So one, two, three, and one, two. So vector A will looks, have this kind of look to it, okay? Now, if you think about it, we can use Pythagoras' theorem here. If you think about, that's a right angle. This is three units, that's two units. So the magnitude of the vector A is going to be given simply by the square root of three squared plus two squared. Sorry, my pen is messed up to this morning. 3 squared plus 2 squared. Okay, so it doesn't matter about the sign, okay, because that's going to be squared. So you're going to have the square root of 9 plus 4, which is 13, and the square root of 13, you're going to work it out. So we have the square root of 13 is equal to. 3.6055 3.6055 continues on so of course we've got to round it to 3SF which is 3.61 ok that's question 11 A part part A done, both parts part 3 sorry now, A part 3 it says MA plus NB equals C, write down two simultaneous equations and solve them to find the values of M and the value of n. Okay, so show what you're working. So m times the vector a. m times the vector a. The vector a was minus 3 and 2. Plus n times the vector b. And the vector b was 5, 4. 5, 4. Is equal to the vector c. And the vector c is 14, 9. The vector C is 14 and 9, as you can see from here, 14 and 9. Okay, so that's equal to 14, 9. So we can solve, we can, we can form a pair of simultaneous equations by basically multiplying um, by M and N and then equating the X or the horizontal component and equating the vertical component. The top numbers represent the horizontal component. So we can say minus 3 times M plus 5 times n is equal to 14. That's taking the horizontal component. Then you've got the vertical component, which is the bottom row. We've got 2 times m plus 4 times n is equal to 9. Okay, so we have a pair of simultaneous equations which we can solve. If I multiply this by 3 to make the m's the same, Okay, and multiply this by 2 to make the m, the m is basically the same here. That will both become 6. I'll have minus 6m. Remember to multiply everything by 2 plus 10n equals 28. And then I'm going to have 6m plus 8n equals 3. Oops, I'm multiplying by 3. 4 times 3 is 12n. Okay, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 27, 9 is 27. 
Now what I have to do is I have to add these two equations together. Okay, I have to add them together so that I can eliminate the m's because I have different signs. So I'm going to have 32, sorry, 22n. And you've got 28 plus 27. That's going to be 40, 55. So n is equal to 55 over 22, which both of them, 11, go into. So it's going to be 5 over 2. So n is equal to 5 over 2. You divide by 11, you get 5 over 2. All right, and then we've got to find what um, m is. So we could use, for example, equation, this equation, the second equation, we could say 2m plus 4 times 5 over 2 is equal to 9. The 2 and the 4 cancel. So we're left here with, sorry, we're left we're here with 2m. Let me correct that here. 2m plus 10 equals 9. 2m plus 10 equals 9. So 2m is equal to minus 1. And m is equal to minus a half. Okay, and so we have m equals minus a half and n equals 5 over 2. Okay, and we can check that that works. All right, if we have minus a half times minus 3, okay, you're going to have you're gonna have 3 over 2. So that's 3 over 2. And then you're going to have 5 times 5 over 2, which is 25 over 2. Okay, that gives you 28 over 2, which is 14, so it works for that one. And you have 2 times m, so 2 times minus a half, which is minus 1, um, plus, and you're going to have 4 times n, 4 times 5 over 2, which is 4 times, that's 2 times 5, which is 10, and that gives you 9. So we know that these two numbers solve the equation. Okay, so that's the answer for part a.